one thing I really want to uh, get as much information as I can from you about is uh, connective tissue, what we might call fascia, and its role in this consciousness within the body. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Well, fascia, or as it's uh, beginning to be called uh, more recently by uh, those who are doing the research and those who are working with it, uh, they, they are calling it the living matrix. Mm. And fascia is the most uh, prominent, the most ubiquitous tissue in your body. And it is the thing that both holds everything together into a single unit, and it is the thing, it is the medium that divides everything up into this organ, that organ, this muscle belly, that muscle belly. <clears throat> so it is everywhere in the body. And it has, in, in addition to its uh, uh, structural and elastic uh, properties, has an extremely interesting uh, quality in that it is a semiconductor of... Uh, uh, electromagnetic energy and it is also a generator of electromagnetic hmm. energy. So this medium of electrical conduction and all kinds of uh, semiconductor uh, interconnections and switches on, switches off, gates, uh, you can talk about it in some kind of uh, electrical technical terms in some way because hmm. it is like a vast computer chip that's holding you all together in there. So, a lot of the thinking now is that the connective tissue system, with its energetic properties, was the first communicating medium between cells in multicellular organisms, and as such was the precursor of the nervous system. Hmm. So, in addition to the neural uh, messaging system and the central nervous system with all of its neurons, we have... Uh, in wrapped around that system, uh, this connective tissue system that is also passing electrical signals uh, back and forth from all precincts of the body, from every cell to every other cell. So it's not only a, a significant structural tissue that holds us together and gets in its own structural uh, problems and injuries and whatnot, but it is a, a large reservoir of the transfer of information that uh, constitutes the unconscious mind as our organism organizes itself and directs itself and learns and teaches and so on. <laughs>